Hey everybody, McCrypt here, and welcome back for some more Cave Store. In the last episode, we made it here, where Misery is, to this boss room. And in this episode, we're gonna fight that boss. Let's get started. No, there's no need for me to get involved. Damn right, because we have to fight Omega. This boss, again, like I've said about all the other bosses, isn't this that hard. Although, he is the first boss that I died on, ever. Uh, mostly because I tried to do some really weird things, but, uh, just shoot on him, shoot at him, while he's shooting out those balls kind of thing, if they get too close, shoot him, and when he pops out of the ground like he just did, uh, now that he's like halfway through, he is exposed, and we can shoot him with missiles, which is really awesome, and he should be done in like a second. Uh, if I could actually hit him with missiles. Yeah, see? Real, real, really easy. Uh, yeah. First boss we haven't died on. That's awesome. So, uh, yeah, the sunstone has been, uh, the spell on the sunstones have been lifted. And those things are the tiki totem things that were blocking our way earlier. So, we'll just, I'll cut over to there. I'll see you guys there. Okay, and we're back, uh, to where the sunstones are, and we'll just, yeah, see, okay, they opened up, and what's her face, the old lady, she is just down here, and we got these new enemies, these skull things, which, if you're actually prepared for them, aren't too bad, but I seem to not have been, yeah, they're not really intimidating at all, you just, you know, if you're stupid, you get hit by them. Uh, save point, take advantage of that, and we'll talk to the old lady. Oh my! My precious puppy! Gave her the puppy. You brought him back, I take it? Many thanks! What's that? Red flowers? Huzzah! Oh no! Lunchbox toaster. How's it going, Jenga? Oh, Balrog, you're doing well, I see. And how's my half-wit of a daughter faring? Hee hee hee. Half-wit, you mean, Misery? She's fine, just fine. A new master has appeared. This time, the Earth will be ours. <laughs> so, once again, you two plot to... I'm not here to give you any trouble. I just came to collect the key to the storehouse. <laughs> the one where the flower seeds are... Ah, stored. My! What on, earth, where on, what on earth are you talking about? Oh, -ho, playing the fool, are you? I see how it is. So you're choosing to betray us. You'll regret it. Oh, wow, that was a big mismatch. A new master? That good for nothing? There are actually four others. Four more puppies of mine. And my hips are so weak. Could this old woman trouble you to find a puppies for her? Okay, wasn't quoted exactly, that was kind of a mishmash of crap, but we have to go find that old lady's puppies. And the unfortunate thing is, we can only grab one at a time. Because we only have room on our head for one puppy, come on. Uh, okay, so the first puppy, if I remember, is up here. It's just lower way through and yep yeah, see the paw print there I told you these things are important they lead to puppies so we'll just go in here travel alone travel alone yep yeah, oh never mind this one's not a puppy this one's a life capsule and I completely forget what's in that chest oh right there's a hat in the chest or well a puppy that we wear as a hat. And yeah, we got our first puppy. Let's get going. I'll meet you guys back over by the lady. Alright, so we're back in Jenga's house. And my my, how quick! This is indeed one of my dear puppies. Gave her the puppy. Hmm. You're a soldier from the surface, aren't you? It wasn't long ago that hundreds of robots like you came to this island. Countless Mi'kmaqs perished at their hands, as did the humans who tried to protect them. Concerned, the Mi'kmaqs finally ingested the forbidden red flowers, and in their murderous rage began to strike back against the robots. Had the red flowers not existed, the Mi'kmaqs might have vanished entirely. 
from the island. Three more left. Good luck. Oh, okay. So the red flowers apparently turn the Mi'kmaws into monsters, not kill them. Well, kills the actual cells, but it doesn't kill them. It protected them. Really interesting. Oh, right. Right here is just a cache of health and missiles because there's not an actual, like, health restorer thingy next to the save point in Jenga's house. So we'll just hop down a little further and all the way down here where this way to the sand's own storehouse. Yeah, we're gonna have to start heading towards the storehouse, but <sighs> we have to deal with these guys. Uh, these parrots, uh, as soon as you kill the skulls that they're hanging on to will charge right at you and while the skulls are being held by the parrots, they'll shoot bones at you, which is a huge, huge pain in the butt. But, we gotta deal with it. Oh, right, okay, we'll grab the first puppy. He's running along the bottom here. Uh, should be. Uh, those snail things, they will retreat into their shells if... Ah, crap. If you attack them with missiles, which is kind of a pain in the ass, but that guy's a skeleton, as you can see. Ah, crap. And this puppy runs away from you. Kind of a pain in the butt. But if you just press down at the right time to pick him up, like I wish I could, just be a second. Come back. Yes, we got him. Yeah, we want to take him. We don't want to leave him. We got another hat, guys. All right, I'll meet you back over by Jenkins. Okay, and we're back. Oh, yes, yes. That is certainly one of my darling puppies. Gave her the puppy. Thank you kindly. We're up to three now. Have you ever heard of the frenzied Mi'kmaq? The concerned Mi'kmaqs hoped that the red flowers would grant them strength. They ate them, and they fought all robots. Uh, however, do you know that what happened to the afterwards? It is a sad tale. The enraged Mi'kmaqs, likely unable to control their own actions, disappeared without a trace. It's rumored that the... <laughs> If rumors are to be trusted, they descended into the surface where humans live. An army of ferocious Mi'kmaqs loosed upon the earth. If that were true, do you understand now? Do you understand how dangerous the red flowers are? Two more to go. So, the doctor wants the flowers to make an army of frenzied Mi'kmaqs? That's... that's terrible. Uh, I'll meet you guys. Oh, never mind. Screw it. I'll just take you guys along for the ride. Shouldn't be too long. Because, yeah. And we're back down here. And this time, we actually have to hop along these platforms to get word to the next puppy. Which is... Ugh, I hate these parrots. They're such a pain in the ass. I usually actually don't have <clears throat> my machine gun upgraded all the way for when I get to here, so this is going a lot smoother than I thought. Okay, so the next Mi'kma, <laughs> Mi'kma, the next puppy is up here somewhere, if I could find my way. Jeez. I, at least I thought it was. Hang on. <sighs> is it, is it not? Hang on, wait. Oh, there we go. <laughs> wow. Hey! <sighs> Darn. Okay, this is another uh, invisible wall kind of place. It's kind of a pain in the ass, and as you can see, there's a sand pit right there. If you take the wrong path, you'll end up at that sand pit. If I can find any path, that would be great. <sighs> yeah, this is going to be a bit of a pain. And yep, and you just go over here. Find that oh crap. Crap. Yes. And we got to the puppy. If you take the wrong path you end up down right next to that crocodile. And if you take the right path you end up down there anyways. Right afterwards. 
Alright, so I'll meet you guys back over by Jenkins again. Okay, and we're back again. They seem to uh, just adore you. My puppies don't waste their affections on bad sorts. Many thanks. Gave you the puppy. You're after the storehouse key, aren't you? Wherein lie the seeds of red flowers. I don't care who you are, you're not getting the key. To open the storehouse would invite that same tragedy all over again. One, two, three. There's only one left. Alright, I will... Uh... Be getting that last puppy. For you guys. Because I love you. And I feel like we should continue on. Make some progress this episode. <sighs> Just gotta heal up. I'll meet you guys back down there. Okay, and we're back. Yeah, I know. Second cut. <laughs> oh, right. We have to take the top path again. And... As you can see, my machine gun is back down to level 2, which ugh, really sucks. Makes this a lot more difficult than it has to be. So I'm going to use missiles, because I'm really lazy and I have lots of them. Ah! Okay. That was a leap of faith if I ever had any. These jumps are kind of tricky, because they're, you know, one square jumps, and those suck. Um, so yeah, we just jump across here. Jump across here. Ah, and we have to deal with more skeletons. Skulls. Ah, crap. Fireballs. Again, whenever you have the upper route on the skulls, it's a really, or any enemy, it's a really good idea to use fireballs. That's what they're there for. Just kill that guy, and. Oh, I totally didn't point out the spikes. There's spikes up there that will hurt you if you jump into them. Yeah, that kinda sucks. They're not really a, that huge of a threat though. Ah, uh, crap. I fell. I'll meet you guys back up there. Okay, and we're back, and we'll hit that this time, and... Ah, <sighs> more parrots. These ones won't attack you until you attack them, but they are very much in the way, so you're going to have to attack them. And make these jumps. Uh, see the holes in the walls there? Or in the pillars? Those- oh, crap, that's a lot of parrots. Anyways, as I was saying, those holes are just areas that you can jump through if you fall into the hole. Like, into the- if you fall down. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, oh, jeez. And when you get near the end, there's deadly one-hitting spikes. Which are really mean, because they're one-hitting spikes. Uh, this is the storehouse. Can't get in there yet without the key. But we do have to hop along these one scare, square, scare, one scare platforms. Ah, crap. Temp number two. Crap. Temp number three. And <laughs> we made it, and let's hope we make this jump. And we made it, and we got the sleeping puppy. And I'll make meet you guys. Oh, never mind. There's secrets here. Oh, yeah. And this is just a health and a save point. Really helpful. Probably need that later. Uh, so I'll meet you guys back over by Jenko. Crap! Holy crap! Am I ever glad I used that save point? Um. Oh, the storehouse key. Why, thank you, you shouldn't have. Catch you later. Wait! <sighs> Alright, we'll go chase after Bullrog in the next episode. See you guys later.